Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 10th of 2024 is titled, A Total Eclipse at the End of the World. So what do we see here? Well, we're looking in Antarctica, sometimes called the end of the world or the bottom of the world, as we are a spherical globe and the Antarctic region is as far south as you can possibly go. So once you hit the South Pole, no matter what direction you go, you're heading north again. Now, here we're looking at a total eclipse, and we see that off in the distance. And this was adapted to make it look like how your eye would see the eclipse, so how the human eye would actually see this eclipse as it occurred. Now, when a solar eclipse occurs, our moon passes in front of the sun and blocks out its light. And that's what we're seeing here. The dark blob on the horizon is our moon. And the glow behind it is the outer atmosphere of the sun. So what we call the surface of the sun, even though the sun really doesn't have a sur solid surface in the way we're used to thinking of for objects like Earth or our moon, uh, it does have a photosphere, which is where the light appears to come from. So generally, when you see the sun in the sky, that's what you're looking at. You're seeing the photosphere, that specific layer of the sun. But that isn't all there is to the sun. There are layers of atmosphere up above that that are normally invisible because the photosphere is so bright. Now, when the photosphere is blocked out, then we can see the corona and you can see that glowing off in the distance here above, around the edge of the moon. So it's not associated with the moon at all. The moon is much closer. It just happens to at this point lie in the same direction as the sun. And by an interesting coincidence here on Earth, the moon and sun both have about the same appearance, uh, angular appearance in the sky. So they will look about the same size. Now that's because the moon, even though far smaller than the sun, is closer. So the two things balance out almost perfectly, allowing us to have the total solar eclipses that we have here on Earth. Now we have another one coming up in just about a month, in fact, a little less than a month now. And that one will occur across parts of North America and will be visible. And if you're in the right range of that, the narrow path where you will have totality, you would see something similar to this. Although, of course, the sun may be much higher in the sky at that point. And during that moment of totality, that minute or so, or a couple of minutes while everything is blocked out, it will become dark. It'll be dark and you will be able to see the corona around the edge of the moon as pictured here. So this is something we have to look forward to and I'm sure we will see many nice pictures of this eclipse coming up on April the 8th of this year over the, and sometimes in April. So that was our picture of the day for March 10th of 2024. It was titled a total eclipse at the end of the world. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.